You guys, we just landed in Spain and we got our bags this time. <laughs> no need to fret. I have both bags because Avery's getting herself cash, but thank the Lord is all I'm gonna say. Okay guys, we just got to our Airbnb in Spain. So that's the door, bathroom, hey, toilet. Oh, there's a washer, that's so funny. Shower, but you'll need to see, well, and then bed, little balcony here, balcony here, a kitchen, Check cute, couch, and then look at this. I'm gonna scream. Yay, we're in Spain, we're in Barcelona. So we're both starving. So we're gonna do our thing and go get food and coffee and go shopping and whatnot. But there are so many cute picture spots in here. I'm gonna scream. Okay guys, did a little outfit change. This little striped sweater, vest, and black jeans. We're gonna go get lunch and food. Get your booty up. Oh, let me connect to the internet. Let's go. Dream no key, right? We just yeah, we just code. Code. Okay, thank God. Oh, did I tell it? I don't know if I told my vlog. Did I tell my vlog? No. Oh, we fully locked ourselves out of um, the last Airbnb, and the guy was like, "Be careful!" <laughs> he got mad. It was funny. You guys, look. You can't even see. Wait, I gotta take a bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Is it so good? Okay, guys, we are at this coffee shop called Satan's Corner. And. It's like rock mm -hmm. I found a place that has cold drink. Look okay. how they serve it. How cute. I want to try it. Black mm -hmm. Really what? Really strong and good. Save a little bit of black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really yummy. Mmm. Whoa. That's what I've been craving. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like I'm, I just like like coffee. See that's really good to me. That doesn't taste I mean it tastes bitter but it tastes like good bitter. Mm -hmm. Like the other ones have just been tasting like Oh my gosh. This tastes like heaven. Alright y'all, we've been shopping around. Avery got a bunch of stuff. Um I have not gotten anything, but um, I'm hungry for dinner and Avery's not, so, because she had churros. But I want to go into Poland Bear because, um, fun fact, I was working with them once and then they decided not to work with me anymore. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't like my work, so they said they didn't want to work with me anymore. <laughs> That's the only brand that's ever done that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never gotten into their store, so I want to go in. Um, and yeah. Sorry, I didn't know that. Talking to a brick wall over here. It's so hard for me to multitask. <laughs> okay, guys, we are heading out to get dinner. It's actually pretty late for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. I know. What the heck? It's nine o'clock. I did not realize it was nine. Um, but we're gonna go to this place. I don't even like. We literally haven't even had like <laughs> food from this country yet. I feel. We're just. But this happened in Italy too. We got like just whatever we could find the first day, and then the second day is when we like actually found like the good good, you know. So hopefully tomorrow we'll find the good good. But um, we need to get apples. Yeah. But this place looks really, like, good. <laughs> it just looks yummy and like, we both honestly are just craving vegetables really bad. So. I don't know how to work do doorknobs anywhere in Europe. Oh, it's cause it all, <laughs> everything comes in. <laughs> what well, helps? I was waiting to sit behind me. Whoa, did that just drop? 
What? What's happening? Hold this. Yep. I put my bag on properly. It's okay. It's so fun, you blow my mind. Starving. Let's go. Did you guys saw my TikTok that, oh, Mickey, you're so fun. Just no. <laughs> I nearly had a meltdown. <laughs> I felt so yucky about myself when I was making that, but I posted it anyways. I forgot. You guys, this is the streets. I just got wet. Is it raining? Um, this is the streets of Barcelona. I think it has Boston vibes. That's my observation. Very cool. We need to find some actual Spanish food tomorrow. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need the tapas. That's mm -hmm. like very traditional here. Yeah. You guys, we are at this really cool place. The place I told you about that we were going to is called Honest Greens. It's the cutest, coolest place ever. It's literally like the aesthetic of it is like how my brain feels. That, like this place feels like my dark Instagram pictures, like my dark aesthetic with like the lighting. Like that's how this place feels. So loud also, sorry. But I'll show you our food when we get it. It looks so good. We got an entire head of cauliflower <laughs> to share. And then I got a bowl salad thing. I'll show you. But I'm so mad. I didn't get the salmon because it didn't specify if it was like smoked or raw or like normal like cooked salmon that I'm used to. So I didn't get it because I really only like salmon cooked. I don't really like like steam. I mean, what's the word? Smoked. Wait. Yeah, smoked or like raw. I don't really like salmon like that. I really only like it cooked like fully. And a lot of places in Europe I found have salmon like raw or smoked type of thing. So I didn't get it, but I saw some guy eating the salmon and it's cooked like how, I, how I'm how i used to it and it looks so good. So I'm so mad I didn't get it. But I got this like herb chicken thing. I had cauliflower rice. What? It just sang to us. No it didn't. That was my... That was the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, look what number we got. Sus. Guys, this is the whole entire head. Oh, I want to lick it so bad. <laughs> just Yum. Look, y'all. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're lying. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I said the same thing. Guys, which way? <laughs> This way. We just, um, when the guy um, brought our food, he was like, oh, like you guys must be hungry. And we were like, because we just each got a meal. We got a side of chicken and then no, cauliflower to share, right? A side of chicken, a cauliflower appetizer, a, half, or a side of tofu, and a side of falafel. But that was like on your plate. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, we just got an appetizer for us, a side of chicken, and then... Oh my god, yeah. I still my gelato spoon. <laughs> We're gonna go get more, just reuse it. Yeah. Um, but anyways. Nope, not this way. Oh, <clears throat> anyways, um, we. That is ridiculous. He said, oh, you guys must be hungry. And we were like, what? And then we walked out, we realized like everyone's just having like a little. Like one little teeny plate. And we're like. <laughs> oh, literally. <laughs> Americans do it bigger. And now we're gonna go get ice cream. Freak, yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, you guys. We are getting, we got gelato. It's called, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ogi, Ogi, I'm not sure. But I'm so excited. This looks actually so good. I got, it's, well, I know it's good. I tried it. It's chocolate ricotta orange. You guys know anything about me? I'm obsessed with chocolate orange, like together. And this is like heaven on earth. I can't even explain it to you. Like, actually, I'm gonna be dreaming about this. Like, for real. Mm. Oh my god. It's like kind of cheesecakey from the ricotta. There's the crunch of the chocolate. And then there's like, what's it called? Grated, like, orange peel in here. Um, I think the chocolate is orange chocolate. Like, absolutely unreal. 
I'm like actually gonna be dreaming about this. All jokes aside. Avery's rubbing her ice cream on her lips like lipstick. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. You guys, if you ever come to Barcelona, go here. You have to get this flavor and think of me. And DM me and let me know what you think because so good. Oh my god. I will be actually dreaming about this for the rest of my life. I don't really like this flavor. It tastes like peanut butter. Let me try. Right? It does taste like peanut butter. It tastes like a waffle cone. It's creepy. Avery's super picky and pretend she's not. <laughs> I'll eat anything in any variation, but like the taste just has to be good. Like, I'll eat like an octopus brain, but like if it's a really bad octopus brain, I won't want it. But if it's like a really good, well cooked octopus brain, I'll love it. <laughs> Hello guys, good morning, or actually I should probably say good afternoon because we accidentally slept until 11. So, <laughs> um, we're gonna go get breakfast now um, at this place that looks super yummy, but I'm actually, I actually really like this fit. I didn't like it when I first put it on, but now I do. I was wearing the same black jeans as yesterday, this little sweater, and this, um, leather jacket. I'm also, I have an undershirt underneath because it's super duper windy outside and I need to go and buy a hair tool that will work here to do my hair. For now, it's just up in a pony, but I am starving, so we need to go. All right guys, we're at breakfast and I got a flat white for coffee. What? Yum. Mm, this is a good one. Talking to a wall again, guys. She doesn't even know I'm talking to her. Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, we're being look basic again, but look how good that looks. I think mine looks. Not basic. Yours looks not basic, but for Spain, maybe it's basic. I don't know. I don't know. This looks so, so good, you guys. We asked if they have hot sauce when they come back. All right, guys. So I went and got a like what I thought was a hair dry brush, and it was just a hair like hair brush straightener, and it didn't do for my crazy hair. So because my hair is actually kind of curly on it. It did. Her hair looks. Baller. She just can't see it. Like it looks super cool. Well, it didn't give me a blowout look. It just like straightened it, made it puffy, which is not. It does not puffy at all. Ideal. Okay, guys. I just got. I feel like it's kind of loud, but I just got a latte. I can't close this. You got a latte? I got a latte. I want to get a matcha latte. Someone in my DMs recommended this. So if it. Are you recording me? Yeah. Someone in my DMs recommended this, so if it was you, let's see if um, you deserve the hype or. Wait, I have to take insulin, I forgot. <laughs> let's try. Yeah. Hi guys, we are literally in the thing right now, but I have straight up not vlogged today. Should I tell them? <laughs> Avery and I were fighting today. Yes, we were. <laughs> now that we're not dating, we can actually tell you. Yeah, yeah, we were fighting. So, I just didn't feel like vlogging. Um, Wasn't an actual fight. No, the thing about okay, let's let's um let's expose Avery and I. Our fights are so. They're just like calm. They're just like one of us gets too sensitive, and then the other one like. One of us gets offended by something because we're both overly sensitive, yeah. and the, uh, then the other person shuts down. Yeah, and then and then it's just like in a continuous circle. Like once one of us is shut down, the other one shuts down because they're upset, the other one's upset. And then yeah. now that like you're upset, I'm upset. Now that I'm upset, you're upset. And, and then it's you're like, I'm upset. And oh, we're like, okay, we need to like stop it because we're both just like getting on each other's freaking nerves because we're yeah. both upset. Yeah. So. so we fixed it. 
<laughs> Anyways, let me give you guys a haul. Oh, also, what did you miss? We went to the, can you say it? I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Tapas. No, we haven't gone there yet. What do you mean? That's what are we saying? The, the thing you wanted to do today, that oh. every time I talk about it, you make me say what it is a million times. Um, um, it starts with a B, Sagrada Familia, or Familia Sagrada. Basil Bastille? Basilica. Yeah. Basilica is la Sagrada Familia. La Familia Sagrada, something like that. Um, we went there, and I took pictures. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I didn't know if I could use my camera. You could. Um, oh, well, you just your iPhone, not your like iPhone. I, yeah, I didn't see anyone with like a professional camera, so I didn't know. There's nobody else with professional. So, well, I did see one person taking pictures as we were leaving, but also that was like the peak of our fight. We were literally fighting in that yeah. thing. We're if you're the person that came up to us while we were in there, we're so sorry. if we were like really rude, because we were fighting. <laughs> we weren't rude. It was just we were just like, okay, blah blah blah. blah. Hi, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> But I'm gonna get in the hall. Um, I plan on returning both of these things. But if you guys saw, did I tell you? I got like you a lady working there. Ignore this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to Sephora earlier and I got what I thought was like a blow dry brush, but it's just a hot brush. So then I went to went back to get this other brush that I thought was a blow dry brush, but it was also just a hot hot brush, but it was a hot round brush. So instead, I got a curler. And there's already a blow dryer, well, already blow dryer here, and then I have a hot brush, so I'll blow dry, <laughs> this is so much, for one day, you guys, I'm crazy, but I'm going to blow dry my hair, hot brush my hair, and then hot curl my hair, or just curl my hair, and then I plan on returning both the brush and the curler if they let me, because <laughs> I'm crazy, but my hair is so important to me, I don't even care, and then... I'm going to wear this to dinner tonight because I want to take pictures and also I want to um, make a TikTok. But it, I got this really cool shirt. It's the brand Deuce, D-E-U-S. I guess it's an Australian brand. Um, and it's this really cool little, I don't even know. Just cool. I guess it's like a, I don't, I don't freaking know. But it's cool. It's a cool shirt. And also... It's actually really cold, and I know that um, Paris is cold as well, and I just underestimated how cold 40 degrees is, I guess, because I brought, like, jackets, but not, like, puffers. But I picked up this puffers from the men's section at Mango. It's just, like, a big black puff, and I want to wear it tonight with my outfit. And also, with my outfit, I got, these were literally 10 bucks, so I just got them because I think they'll look pretty because they're huge chunks. And I think they'll look good with tonight's outfit. Um, did you guys know that you're supposed to pop this clear part out of earrings? You just put it on a hard surface and press on this um, clear part and this pops out. But let's see what this looks like. It was so windy today, you guys. I honestly, that was part of it. I couldn't even vlog when we were outside because of the wind. Oh, these are cute. These are big boys, but they're cute. Fun. Wow, they're literally massive. I kind of need to look in the mirror. Maybe they're too big. But why not? It's fun, right? That's why it's called costume jewelry. But we're going to this place right down the street for dinner. I was saying to Avery, something that I really, 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 really love about Europe is how they eat later than us. It's like, you know, like in general. And I feel like because of that, you're able to like have more day. Like I feel like since restaurants close kind of early in the US or like dinner times like what, five, six, like I just feel like you gotta finish up like your day at like four or five and then you move on to like dinner time. But here it's like you do that at like eight or like nine. And I really like that random thing. Right, let me go look in the mirror. Okay guys, after second thought, um, these earrings are way too heavy. So they're being returned, even though they were 10 bucks. I'll never wear them, they literally hurt. They felt so light in the store, but, oh, you know what I think I brought? I think I might have brought my other. What? Oh, I think I might have brought my other pair of hoops. I just realized, let me look. I 
did. Yay. Guys, this is a life hack. Wrap your jewelry in saran wrap when you travel so it can't get tangled. I'm gonna get ready for dinner. Here's the shirt on. And you guys, did I, I don't think I said this to my vlog yet, but something, I think the reason, because I really love Barcelona, like actually for real, for real, like I think I could live here. Um, and I was saying, I was like, wow, this place really reminds me of Boston. But what it actually reminds me of is a combo between Boston and Tampa. It's like literally a mix of the two. And I think that's why I love it so much because I love Boston, but it's just like not quite my place. Don't get me wrong, I love Boston. Love, love, love. But it's just not fully like, oh my God, this is my place. But, and I do feel that way about Tampa. Like I'm like, wow. But the only thing it's missing is like, I wish it was like a little more, a little more city-y. Except what I like about Tampa is that it's not, you know? But, um, basically what I'm saying is, I could totally see myself um, living here, which is crazy, but I really could. I'm about to like go stop back home, pick up Augie, and come here. And there's also like a bunch of Italian Greyhounds here, which I'm like, okay, perfect. He would fit right in. Um, I don't know, I just really like it here. And part of me is like, I was gonna study abroad back in, God, I think it was supposed to be in 2020. Like I was looking into it in 2019. Then I started to look into it, um, like end of 2019. But then um, COVID happened and TikToks like picked up. Like I started getting followers on TikTok and decided that I oh, wanted to move to Florida. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, scratch that because I was like, okay, well, scratch that. I want to like go and dance in college in Florida and like move. So like scratch the abroad thing. Then COVID happened anyways, so I was like, eh, just not meant for me. And then I kind of lost the travel bug for a while because like I had just moved to Florida. So like it felt like I was traveling. Um, but I don't know, part of me is like, how can I just like not live in a foreign country while I'm young? And like, I don't know what I mean. So maybe like, I don't know. I have Augie though, so I was saying this to Avery too. I was like, either I go for like two weeks and then come back, which I feel like, especially if I'm going alone, like two weeks is probably like good. But either I go for like two weeks and get a dog sitter, like my friends, like they're helping me right now. Maybe they could help me. Or I come for like a couple months and bring him with me, which would be a lot. And that would be like, technically I moved here. I feel like it's just like a big commitment and I also don't want to like displace Augie and I also just feel like at some point I'll be like okay I'm ready to go like back home that door is gonna drive me nuts um so I think I want to like find a couple weeks where I can just I mean I know I'm, I'm gone for like a week so it, it'd only be one more week like added than this trip so it wouldn't even be a big deal like it would literally just be a um extra long vacation but i really feel like i really want to do that and i don't necessarily have to do it alone like i would totally do it with avery again or like with a friend like another friend or something but i don't know i just think i need to come back to europe and spend more time and i think i would stay in barcelona and travel like around from here you know and it's funny though because when i was gonna study abroad i was actually gonna study abroad in uh italy it was going to be in rome 
I want to do Florence, but they like stopped their connection with that school, I think, the year that I was going to do it. And so I was going to study abroad in Rome. And I didn't go to Rome. I went to Venice, which is like pretty different than Rome, obviously. But uh, I like Barcelona a lot more than I liked Venice. Venice was great for what it was, but like, I just really, really like where it's a little bit. Um, so it's just funny because like, this would not be a place that I would have chosen to study abroad. And I honestly, like we almost canceled our part portion of this trip. Like we almost stayed in Venice longer, but I'm so glad we did it because I literally love it here so much. And I just really like the vibe of it. And I really like food and the coffee and just seriously does remind me of um Tampa and Boston so much so it's like hard not to fall in love with it you know but you can always visit I think I'm just I'm I, I get pretty homesick from place like at places so I don't know if I'd really like living in a different country so much but maybe for a short period of time this braid's making me mad. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. So, I'm gonna focus. Hold on. Oh. We have Mr. Stair over here. I got a glass of Sauvignon Blanc for a picture. I can't even lie. But I, I am not a big drinker in general. Also not a big wine drinker at all. This is the single-handed best glass of wine I've ever had. Like, I could like... I could drink that. Like that's dangerous. Okay. I've already tried these. These are so good. Just prawn, peppers, and then I've tried those two. They're amazing. But let me try. You gotta get a jalapeno on there. Oh, of course. Jalapeno makes it. Cheers. Need salt. He does. Where's the salt at? I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no salt on that, no salt on that. These have good flavor. Yeah. There's not one speck of salt on here. You no. have an no idea. Huh? I know, that's what I'm- I've been eating the stems. So she's fully eating the stems. That's good. I can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna cream. Look how delicious. We've got chicken paella, some salmon, some veggies. Ooh. So yum. Hey guys, I'm having a little, hopefully, decaf coffee. <laughs> and we're gonna have some cheesecake too. Why did you leave the salmon so <laughs> Let's take a sip. Oh, this is hot. Yeah, and it's like, Mmm. Hot, but yummy. You got more water somehow. I got, I asked for it. My cheeks are red from the wine. Mine too. Is that why they're red? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. That looks so good. Okay, I need to show. If you guys are ever in Barcelona, go there. Go! So, we got so much food. We got, we got, uh, like, we got three tapas. We got, uh huh. We got wine. Peppers. Yeah, we got, okay, we got the peppers. We got, shrimp. um, shrimp. And we got not the nachos. Nachos. Um, we got, we shared, well, we shared everything, but we got chicken paella and salmon, the salmon and veggies. And then we got the cheesecake and the brownie ice cream. She got a cup of and I got a, well, I just got a coffee. Oh, a coffee. Uh, decaf coffee. Oh my God. Are they open? I think they might be closed. Oh. Well, it's okay. We can run in the morning super early. Yeah. We don't have to be out till 11. True. Um, iPhone store, iPhone plus store. Yeah. But everything was really good. Yeah, if you see anything where we can buy water, let me know. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Definitely recommend. The place last night was super good too. Every dinner, we, well, we've only had two dinners, but I'm, I, I'm so excited for Paris, but also I really, really wish we had more days here. Yes. I, we were like ready to leave Venice whenever we left, yeah. but personally, I could stay here a lot longer. Like I would come for like a long period of time, I think, but Throwing up. No. I'm scared. It's okay. <laughs> Let's cross. Do you want to get the water at the kebab shop? Good morning, guys. It is our last day in Barcelona, 
but we're going to Paris. So that'll be super exciting. And then that's the last little leg of the trip. But you guys, last night you saw we got a bunch of food. We got two desserts, we got wine, all the things. My, I literally somehow, I don't know how, absolutely nailed my insulin. I didn't go high or low after eating. Like, literally, I was, like, perfectly in range. I do not know how I did that. <laughs> that was wild, but I did it, so that's awesome. But we have to be out of the Airbnb soon, but we don't have to, like, leave. Like, our flight's not until later, so we're going to store our luggage, and I need to go return, um both of the hair tools that I bought because one the curler doesn't work it's literally broken and two the hot brush is like it's not worth my money so I'm gonna go return both of them and I also have um earrings that I bought yesterday you guys saw to um return and we need to get breakfast coffee everything and then I don't know what we're going to do today, but, um, yeah, I will take you guys along. I know I've been a really bad vlogger today. Hi guys. I literally can't, I'm, oh my God, I'm wearing a tank top. Oh my God. Thank God. And my sweater. Yeah, guys, crazy. Me and Avery borrow each other's clothes while on a vacation. That is like so wild to me. I can't believe we do that. Like as friends, that's freaking that's ridiculous. So weird. I've, I've never, never let my friend not borrow my shirt. Never, not once, like even touched a garment of my friend's clothes. <laughs> but I just got a hazelnut, like a, a, a flat white with hazelnut milk. And I discovered on this trip, I'm obsessed with flat white. Thank you. Thank you. I discovered on this trip that I'm obsessed with flat whites because they're a little bit like stronger. Because I do like lattes, but I find them to be just so milky. Which is why I like cappuccinos, but even them, them sometimes can be kind of milky. But I discovered I love flat whites. You look so cool in that outfit. Right? Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. But we were just saying, like, I love Barcelona and I 100% want to come back. But we were like, I'm really glad that we are just spending a few days in each place because we just get, like, a little bit tired of the place. Really fast. Really fast. But it's because, like, we pack so much into one day instead of, like, oh, like, today we're going to do this. And like take our time. I feel like we're like we rush through it all. Boom, 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 boom. But I like it that way. I, don't I do know. too. I cannot wait to have caviar in Paris. Oh my god, me either. Can you take pictures of me? Of course. Guys, we got our food and it looks so good. I need to take pictures of it. And then Avery has to eat it. I mean, yeah, eat it for her video and then I can eat it. The whole process. But <laughs> so excited. Yum. We are at I look really spooky. We're at the um Spain airport, Barcelona airport, and there's a mango. <laughs> Guys, why is there so much hype around the store mango here? Um, really not good. It's like a Forever 21. Yeah, but anywho, I have to pee so bad. I've had to pee for like an hour, and we just went through security, all that. Does that mean bathroom? What? That sign, probably. Yeah. No, that's exit. Oh. And then I'm gonna get a coffee because I have. A question. I feel like the coffee's not very caffeinated here. That wasn't a question. <laughs> 